I'm gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. I wanna make a supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having the ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give me a call. Woo! <laughs> we are back, boys and girls, for another Mr. Beast challenge. This time, not for one, but two hundred thousand dollars and your friend here leon lush the tomato don the maestro of marinara martin luther ketchup jr <laughs> i don't know what that is he's going back to la this week to defend his quarter title and yes i call it a quarter title because the one hundred thousand dollars was split between four winners myself included and i've seen the comments oh you shouldn't have been allowed to make deals oh, that just, i would have stayed until the end and made the <laughs> shut the up, all right, I made $25,000 for standing in a circle for 31 hours. Okay, you would have done the same goddamn thing. <sighs> now, I am thrilled to be a part of this. I want to keep you guys abreast. I want to get you up to speed of what's going on. So we're going to be, I'm going to be going out. There's going to be, I believe, 36 YouTubers from all over the world. 12 teams of three, okay? It's going to be trios, similar to the game Apex Legends, if you're familiar with that. We're going to be uh, battling it out on this real life kind of video game map, right? <clears throat> Everyone gets dropped in, all the teams get dropped in. Everyone's wearing balloons, like three balloons on their back, like old school Mario Kart battle mode, you remember that? And there's gonna be like maps, uh, excuse me, there's gonna be guns placed around the map, airsoft guns, and you're just going around, you're grabbing guns, you're trying to bust other people's balloons up, right? Similar to this Dude Perfect video uh, right here, roll the clip. Are you ready for more? Ah, dang! Oh wow, that's a lot of bullets. Oh, you oh, you're going fire. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Oh, I had that whole sky. Oh. It's like a real-life Battle Royale video game, except when you win, instead of posting a screenshot to Twitter to try to garner a few likes and help boost your self-esteem a little bit, you win a shitload of money instead. Now, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the competition in this video. I want you to know exactly who stands in my way, who stands in my path to shitloads of money, right? And this intentional hubris, this idea that I am infallible, that there is no chance that I could lose, that everyone else on that battlefield is inferior to me, is intentional. Right, I do that on purpose until the second that last balloon pops above my head in my brain There is absolutely no chance that I'm going to lose I refuse to take an L if I do lose I deal with that then and there is a small part of me way deep down inside that thinks oh my god Leon How the hell are you possibly gonna win an airsoft competition? You have zero experience with airsoft or rifles or guns in general And you know what I say to that little voice inside of me shut the fuck up I'M GONNA WIN THIS SHIT! <laughs> yeah, anyways, buckle your seatbelt, because we're gonna do a lightning round and look at the other teams that I'm up against to see if anyone stands a chance competing against all this right here, because I sure as hell don't think that they do. On team one, we have Lachlan with 10.8 million YouTube subscribers and clearly some sort of terminal illness because why the hell else would you wear that ridiculous surgeon's mask? Next up is Moose Elk, 7.5 million YouTube subs but made a fatal mistake by having his Twitter avi as a picture of him and his dog. Automatic weakness right there. All I have to do is get my crew to kidnap his dog and I can manipulate him to just leave the competition once we're there. Absolute idiot. Lastly, we have this YouTuber, Lannon, with 8.8 .8 million subscribers, also known as Laser Beam YouTube. And just take a peek at this profile picture. Clearly this man cannot grow a proper beard. He's got that real spotty looking face, you know what I'm saying? And a man that can't grow a beard poses no threat to me on the battlefield. So I just <laughs> give me a So break. that's team one and you may be wondering what all these dudes have in common. And well, they get like hundreds of millions of views a month playing Fortnite, which is, you know, the reason why they have so many subscribers. And can you think of anything that makes somebody softer than making millions of dollars a year playing Fortnite? <laughs> Ooh, season eight is epic. Ooh, come watch me roll around in a shopping cart and shoot a cannon in Fortnite. Come all ye nine-year-olds. Get the fuck. Come on. That is some soft ass shit. 
So team two is more gamers. We have Preston Plays, who may have 8.7 million subs, but in his Twitter, Avi, she's showing happiness, which is a sign of weakness. And then there's Nathan Unspeakable, uh, with 2.7 million subscribers on YouTube, but his Twitter banner is him just casually filling up a lime green Lamborghini while scrolling on his phone. So you may as well just get tool bag tattooed on your cheek at that point. Then there's Typical Gamer with, ooh, 8 million YouTube subscribers, right? Big deal, but he has his own line of blue light blocking technology glasses. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Nerd much? Woo! I mean, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this dude shot his own balloons by accident on the battlefield. Give me a break. Team three is the FaZe Clan. FaZe Rug, FaZe Adapt, FaZe Scissors. I don't think the FaZe Boys really need an introduction, right? They're generally well known for playing video games, but more so well known for sharing a love for exorbitantly priced clothing, right? And I fully expect them to show up on game day wearing like Gucci clothes decked out with like some off-white Nike sneakers. And the second that bell rings, the second the gun goes off and it's game time, they're gonna be too worried that their clothes are gonna get dirty, right? And they'll just give up because they already have enough money as it is and then it's not gonna matter, so I'm not even really considering them a team at this point. Team four, we have Jack Courage Dunlop, better known as Courage JD, and I don't even know how he's gonna find time for this competition because he seems so busy riding Ninja's coattails. <laughs> Next on Team 4, we have NoahJ456, self-proclaimed professional nerd, not somebody who I was initially at all concerned with, but then I scrolled down and saw that he actually has this demonetized symbol onesie as his, his game day outfit. Are you Like, if he actually shows up in that, that's maybe a wild card. I might be concerned, but if he's just doing this for, like, the internet meme and he shows up not wearing that onesie, then he doesn't stand a chance. And lastly, we have Tyler, a.k.a. Wildcat, and I'm sure he has, like, 100 billion subs, like all these fucking... YouTuber, gamers, or whatever, but he's, according to this tweet, he's 6'5", okay? Which makes you nothing but an easy target. Doesn't stand a chance, not worried in the slightest. So apparently Team 5 is the dude from What's Inside and his son. If you're not familiar with who they are, take a look. Welcome to the video that we never thought we'd make. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan from What's Inside and today we have our gold play button! I can't believe it's finally here! Here we go! Whoa! Yeah, so it's just this dude and his son that have built this massive YouTube channel by cutting things in half, right? And I'm having trouble gauging whether or not I should be threatened by them, but all I know is if I get eliminated by like a seven-year-old on the battlefield of Airsoft, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have trouble, I'm not gonna be able to handle that very well. I'm not at all. Now, Team 6, I hold near and dear to my heart, okay, because we have Alex Ernst, and Danny Duncan, two of my brothers that are my co-champions from the Circle Challenge, right? And I can't talk smack about these two. Leon, do you think you deserve the same as Danny and uh, Alex? Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> God, okay. So the deal is you four each get 25 grand and then five way shout out. Put your hands in and do make some noise, I don't know. One, two, three. Circle! We sat in that circle and we bled together for 32 hours before walking away with an even split 25 apiece, right? But they're both like mediocre sociopaths, right? Danny Duncan is fucking crazy. Love the dude. I think he's hilarious, but he's a little tapped. Alex Ernst? Again, you know, I just had no idea what to expect from these two, but the wild card in the situation is the third member of their team is Cole LeBrand. Are you ready? Just an absolute anomaly on this team. Cola Brandt is a God-fearing, massive YouTube family vlogger. Uh, I made a video on him years ago. You know, it was a fun video. Take a peek. And we're gonna give you guys 10 cool kisses to do whenever you're out in public and with, with, with your partner that you love. Yeah, this one's called Our Favorite 10 Ways to Kiss by Savannah and Cole, and immediately, I want to die, but let's dig a little deeper. So we're going to show you guys how, how boring normal people kiss and then 10 really cool kids that you can get. I mean, just an absolute wild card, but if he brings the full wrath of God to this competition, there's no telling what could happen. I'm not counting them out. Next up is Team 7, in my opinion, the clear favorites of this competition, featuring yours truly. We also have Jug Squad, who has glorious dreadlocks, uh, is kind of a crazy person himself, and he's also the brother of Tifu, who, if you don't know, is probably one of the best Fortnite players in the world. And just by blood association, that means that Jug Squad has incredible aim, I think. And we also have Dally MD, who is a treasure hunter with over 7 million subscribers on YouTube. Are you kidding me? If you're telling me, oh, hey, Leon, you need to 
compete in an airsoft competition to win a hundred, maybe two hundred thousand dollars. The first thing I'm thinking is let me get a goddamn treasure hunter on my team. And I have that. I'm not even worried for a second. Next up is Team 8. We have Fitz, another gamer who recently tweeted about getting food poisoning. Guess what? Only peasants get food poisoning. Not a threat. Next on Team 8, we have Swagger Souls, who also makes a living playing video games and wears a bucket on his head at all times. Clearly has a busted face, otherwise why would you wear a bucket? I, it's ridiculous. Nobody that wears a bucket on their head has a chance in an airsoft challenge. Ooh, look at my... I've never shown my face. I'm so mysterious. Fuck out of here. Finally, we have Zuckles, who I'm not very familiar with, but apparently, according to his Twitter bio, he's one of six retards, and I just don't personally see a retard winning this competition, so nothing to worry about, no threat here. But Leon, you can't say the word retard, that's offensive, okay? It was in his fucking bio, I just read his biography, okay? Shut up. Team 9 features Alex Wasabi, who I've heard of and I'm sure is pretty popular, but... He has frosted tips, so not a threat. Next on Team 9, we have Aaron Burris, who, according to his Twitter profile, really likes making people happy. Purple heart emoji. And that's great news, because I'm sure when you show up to this competition, you're going to make me very happy uh, when I realize you suck at airsoft. Finally, we have Swoozy, who I'm struggling to find a bad thing to say about him. I don't know much, but he has Aladdin as his profile picture on Twitter, and I'm a sucker for Disney classics. Are you kidding me? So I mean, Maybe Swoozy's one jump ahead of the breadline. Perhaps he's one swing ahead of the sword. I don't know, all I can tell you is he's never had a friend like me, and come game day, I'm gonna show him a whole new world. Should I keep going with the Aladdin puns? All right, I'll stop. So Team 10, we have two animators, right? We have Odd Ones Out and Jaden Animations, both very popular animators, getting like billions, 100,000, 100, so many, so many views. I don't know, but you, God bless them, right? They spend like 100,000 hours making a five minute animation. It's incredible the amount of work it takes to do what they do. I mean, they don't stand a chance on the field of airsoft, but you know, good for you and all your YouTube views and shit. And not to mention their third teammate is Anthony Padilla from Smosh, the godfathers of YouTube that are now like, I mean, you know about Smosh anyways. And Anthony Padilla, I recently found out is a vegan, <laughs> which, you know, fantastic, great. Great life choice. I hope you're healthy. Good for you. But if you don't have the power of pig's fat running through your veins, don't step on the fucking battlefield with me. Ridiculous. You don't stand a chance. Coming in hot with Team 11, we have the Gamer Girls leading off with Pokimane, also known as Keemstar's favorite female Twitch streamer. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about her, so I'll give her the benefit of the doubt, but I do know she just recently tweeted, um, treat people the way you want to be treated, which is like the most bullshit, cliche tweet you could ever make. It's still got 21,000 likes, which is pretty impressive, but that's that's some soft-ass shit. Then there's Valkyrie, who it looks like a lovely young lady, um, although she did just do a sponsorship with Hot Pockets, which is a glaring indication that she's just not going to be able to hack it on the Airsoft battlefield, because Hot Pockets are, are trash. <laughs> Let's be honest, they're trash. And finally, there's Kitty Plays, who has a real life unicorn pickaxe from Fortnite, and I gotta be honest, I did some digging here, and I just, she seems pretty pleasant, I can't, I can't find anything, ah, I don't know, these girls, they may be the sleepers, right, this is just a, it's a competition filled with testosterone, dicks swinging around everywhere, and then you have like, uh, you know, these three Twitch girls, I feel they may come in and be like those kind of sleepers, just start pop, 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 sniping, camping in the bush with the op, just busting people's balloons up, I got my eyes on them. I got my eyes on these girls. I'm not, I'm not sleeping on it. Sorry, my son just had a, a moment there, but uh, he's back asleep again. So, and finally, Team 12, the final team on the docket, or at least I think, it, as far as I know, we have Tanner Fox, Roman Atwood, and Mini Lad. Now, Tanner Fox and Roman Atwood are like both lifestyle vloggers, couple hundred billion subscribers apiece multi-millionaires obviously but they're both like carbon copies of each other and they weigh like a combined 130 pounds soaking wet with a couple rolls of quarters in their pockets right don't stand a chance and mini lad one of my other brothers from the circle well let me tell you something about him he's just uh he's a he's just a really nice guy very just a he's a sweetheart i can't i'm sorry i can't i can't talk any more shit about people i'm exhausted obviously this video was a bit of a piss take all right you know like everybody on this list i have a great deal of respect for i'm very excited to meet a lot of these people and i'm so excited and feel very fortunate to be a part of this whole event. Now, hubris aside, if you'll allow me to be real for a second, I don't know shit 
about airsoft or guns, and I have very little confidence in my abilities to, to take home money in this competition compared to the Circle Challenge, which I felt very confident about going in knowing it was going to be a standing competition where we're going to be wearing weights, and my size would be an advantage, and it clearly proved to be an advantage, and I ended up going obviously into the final four and coming home with some money. This challenge, I have I have no idea what's going to happen. I have zero expectations. All I know is that it's going to be a fucking incredible time. Uh, I'm going to be able to meet some uh, amazing people. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm hoping you guys will, will come along for the journey. I'm going to try to get some footage, and obviously I'll be I'll be doing some stories on Instagram. I'm going to try and get like a vlog up after I get home. So I'm going to L.A. to defend my quarter crown, and I refuse. I mean, I will not get on a plane if I'm not rolling out of there with a fat stack of prize money in my pocket. Will not leave. I, you know, no, I'll probably, I'll probably still come home if I don't win. But I, you know, it'd be nice. A couple extra bucks would be nice. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your time. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy this event when the video eventually comes out. I know I'm just super pumped to be a part of it. Obviously, a big shout out to Mr. Beast for putting these things together. It's really, it's really making uh, for some life experiences for me and a lot of other YouTubers, and it's. It's really, really cool. Um, so be sure to hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. If you want to support the channel, you can buy some merch or become a channel member down below. And uh, just you being here, watching the videos, liking, commenting means the world to me. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you when I get back. Uh, hopefully, you know, a couple thousand dollars richer. <laughs> Peace. You, you, you.